Have you ever heard the expression before, they eat like a bird, talking about somebody that has a minuscule appetite? Well, you might want to think twice next time you use that expression. For example, take the hummingbird. In order for it to maintain its incredible metabolism, it has to eat about 50% of its body weight every day. To put that in perspective, if a 100-pound woman was to eat like a hummingbird, she would have to eat 50 pounds of sugar a day just to maintain her body weight. Imagine that. Maybe you don't want to imagine that. Or perhaps we want to consider this another way. The hummingbird typically consumes between four to seven calories a day. On the other hand, a human, about 3,500 calories a day. But if you were to eat like a bird, a hummingbird, you'd have to eat over 150,000 calories a day. Well, that's like a man, 170 pounds, that would be eating 3,000 Oreo cookies. Under normal conditions, a hummingbird needs to eat every five or 10 minutes. But there's actually one time during the year the hummingbird will eat its entire body weight every day. You see, once a year, they make this migration of 500 miles across the Gulf of Mexico, from Texas to the Yucatan Peninsula. In order to do that, the hummingbird feasts on nectar and gorges themselves on this nectar for about a week, doubling their body weight. That's the only way they can store enough calories to help them with their 70 wing beats per second, or roughly 4 million wing beats on that journey. You know, in the same way, friends, as we near the end of time, we need to be feasting and gorging ourselves on the nectar of God's Word. We've got to be able to have that strength to get us through the times of trouble that are ahead. So when it comes to the Bible and your personal devotions, if you're going to eat like a bird, eat like a hummingbird.